Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PogNow.com. I'm here with the Samsung Infuse 4G on AT&T. We're going to take a look at the hardware this time. Let's check it out. So first off, the big thing about the Infuse 4G is its screen. This is a new Super AMOLED Plus display and it's four and a half inches. So that's a pretty impressive screen size. You can see, and here's a penny right there. That's how big it is. I know we did a little hardware comparison in the, the unboxing, but I just want to show you how, how this looks compared to you know an old phone. This is a BenQ. This is how phones used to look. So here's, look how big that is. The screen could probably swallow this whole phone. And here's a old HTC Diamond. So you can see we've got some big screen going on there. Now this device uh, from Samsung has a new 1.2 gigahertz Hummingbird processor inside. It's also got 16 gigs of internal memory, well internal storage. Uh, 13 gigs of that is available to the user. And it comes with a 2 gig micro SD card. We'll show you that soon and Android 2.2, Samsung's flavor. And the other big thing about this is it is 8.9 millimeters thick. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's take a look at around the device here. Up top, you got your 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. A couple of sensors here. Uh, speaker grill, AT&T logo. Down at the bottom we have our capacitive buttons and these are really close to the edge and kind of kind of thought kind of small there. You know, that's a not very tall width. There. Okay. There's our Samsung logo at the bottom. We have a micro USB port and a microphone hole around the side. We have some nice shine. And there's your power button. It's, uh some people find it strange that it's over here but you can Hit it with your finger pretty easily. Kind of like that. Up there is the headphone jack. Uh, over here is the volume controls, up and down. And nothing over there. On the back, you got a little bump. This is similar to the other Galaxy S phones. Those have a little bump there. And that's where our speaker grill is. Up to the top is an 8 megapixel camera with a LED flash. That's pretty good. And now I'm going to open this back. It's kind of weird. You see this little slit there? That's how we get it open. And you got to put your fingernail in there and pop it. And now look at this. It's going to bend. You got to peel it like that. It's kind of flimsy. And here's our battery. This is what was it? 1750 milliamp hours. That's a pretty good size battery. Let me take that out. And where is the micro SD card? It's right there. Hidden under there. See that? And the one that it comes with is flat right here. Uh, usually they have like a little thing that you can grab it with, but yeah, see, it's, it's pretty difficult to get that out of there. I can't even do it. I don't think I'll have to get some tweezers. Come on, come on. Nope, not going to happen. So I'll just leave that in there. Put this back together. Now the build quality of this feels really nice. Let's compare it. Here's the Galaxy S 4G. This is kind of, feels kind of flimsy. Plastic kind of vibrates. This is nice and sturdy. Still plastic, but feels like a better build quality. Alright, let's take a look at the screens a little bit. Compare with the Galaxy S 4G. Okay, so here we are. Both of these have Pocket Now loaded, and they're both on full brightness. If you can tell, 
This one seems to be a little brighter, a little whiter in the page here. So that's uh, the Super AMOLED Plus versus the regular Super AMOLED on the Galaxy S 4G versus the Infuse 4G from Samsung. And just for haha, -ha, so let's throw in the HD7. And you can see this is uh, much more washed out here. What else is special about the Infuse 4G is its 4G radio. This supports Category 14 HSPA Plus rather than Category 10 like the Atrix 4G and some of the other 4G phones on AT&T. This is the first one to support Category 14 which supports up to 21 megabits per second download speeds. If you are under optimum conditions, you know, that's theoretical real life, maybe you're not going to get that much speed out of this. Anyway, that's our hardware tour of the Infuse 4G. Pretty nice device, really sturdy, very thin, and a pretty quick, humongous screen. Pretty nice. Like it a lot. That's it for now.